Oh, buddy, what's going on, everyone? Jerome here, along with Steven Blade, and welcome, welcome to an awesome Fly or Die, everybody. Now, last time that we played this game, we actually did really, really good. I mean, I'm talking like we actually almost beat the game. It wasn't because of a crazy kind of fluke thingy that happened uh, that made us lose, to be honest. I, I, I really thought we had it, though. Like, didn't you guys last time? Like, I was yeah. thoroughly, thoroughly convinced that we were going to do it. And then you just, did get bamboozled last time. I, I really did, though. It was very sad. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Yes, but uh, but yes, everyone, thank you again so much for coming out. We're going to have a very, very fun time. And uh oh, I'm already getting called out. Erica said no DSLR. I know I left the DSLR up in Jersey because I'm a butt. But all the rest of my setup's all here. And uh, so, yes. So that's good, right? Well, that's the spirit. What a butt. I mean, I am a butt. I, I really, I don't even know how I forgot it. It was right on my desk, and it's the only thing I did forget. Like, otherwise, I set up my whole setup. But I do have some surprises, everyone. I'm going to be setting up my stream deck. Because um, I've had a stream deck now for, like, the longest time. If you don't know what that is, it allows you to do, like, sound effects and cool, like, visual effects and stuff like that. Uh, and I've had one for the longest time. And I never bothered setting it up because I'm just a straight-up butt. And, uh, and yes, but now I will. Um, I'm going to probably have it set up. Hope I'm hoping, fingers crossed, for Thursday. Thursday is going to be the big, big day. So we'll see. Oh, really now? Yeah, I'm going to do some other cool stuff too. But you'll have to wait and see, Steve. I can't let you know. Why not? No one can know. It's top secret. I'm going to let you oh, know the secret. That. Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, I already what know. What do you mean you heard about that? You didn't hear about nothing. <laughs> I heard yeah, we all did. about it. No, no one would have told you. In fact, Blade came up with the idea. Thanks, G. Millsy, for a $7 stream tip. Wait, he did? Yeah. Now I'm really confused. What is this idea? Well, we can't tell you or it wouldn't be a secret. You know what? Fair. Fair, fair. But thanks again, G. Millsy. He said, hey, Jerome, how's your day going? My day's all right. Um, I mean, it's been kind of meh, but... Uh, Nothing bad. It's just uh, just a long day of traveling. So I woke up early to go travel, uh, and we are moving around a lot of stuff in the office. Uh, so think of it as just kind of like rearranging everything. Uh, so it's it's been just a lot of just random hoopla. But uh, no, hoopla. I mean, I guess it's fine. It's been a good day, I guess. Otherwise speaking, though, yeah. Just busy. Busy is probably a good word for it. But not the kind of busy you like. You know, what I mean, like I like I like being busy, like making videos. Like that's fun. Um, thanks for that five dollar stream that just came through there from Adrian Perez. Said, "How's your day been so far?" Well, <laughs> well, uh, he had the same question as G Millsy, so I think you already got the answer there. <laughs> <laughs> what is this? You eat the next food in one bite. Oh wow, the pigeon is that's pretty cool. Uh, special. Effect. You're already on the pigeon. Yeah, I'm on the pigeon. We're gonna beat it this time. Last time we only lost because of that fluke. Do you remember the fluke yourself? Yeah, maybe I don't know. When you were trying to eat the Yeti, and then someone came up to you and got eaten by you, and then he transformed, and then the Yeti ate you in one bite? Yeah, thanks, Blade. Appreciate it. Appreciate the memories. I mean, we just wanted you to remember. Thanks, Adam Jensen, for sponsoring the channel as well. You're awesome, pal. Thank you so, so much. And, of course, uh, thank you to all the people who have subscribed so far this stream. We've got Common Red who subscribed, Peter Gordon, Jelly Mage, Chris Hill, and many more. And you can be just like them by subscribing now. Think about joining, everyone. I'll think about it. Also, I want to know what everyone thinks about this. What would you guys say if I wanted to start streaming mobile games soon? I'm thinking there's a couple mobile games that I've been thinking about streaming. Um, and I want to see what you all think. Yeah. I got a couple games. You do? No. Oh. I already have a couple in mind that I want to stream. You ever try this cool game called Pokemon Go? Yes, Steve, I've tried Pokemon Go. <laughs> Hey, it's a mobile game. Dare I say, I have one of the best videos ever on Pokemon. I was going to say, is I, that video is actually, very good. That video is legendary. <laughs> that video made me laugh so much. <laughs> Dude, that was like such a gem. <laughs> I love that video, man. <laughs> oh, man. Good old times. <laughs> Everyone's saying yes. That's a lot. Of, that's like an overwhelming amount of yeses. People really want to see that. Okay, cool. Nice. Well, we'll do that then. Think it would be fun? I think it would definitely be fun. No, I'm just kidding. It's not going to be fun. No fun. 
Thanks, Looney Brady, for a $5 stream tip. I'll see if I can read that message in a second here. He said, hey, Drum, love your videos. You always make my day. It's my first time sending a super chat. I always wanted to, and I chose my favorite person. Well, thanks, Looney Brady. I'm glad I could be your first person that you uh, you ever stream tip to. I really appreciate that, pal, and I'm glad that we can make your day over here. That's what we always strive to do. Thanks, Adrian Perez, for the $5 stream tip. He said, hit or miss. Uh, I guess I never miss, huh? You wouldn't get it, Blade and Steve. Blade especially, he's too old. Am I too old too? Yes, Steve. When did I get old? You're an old man now. I'm poison. Ah, come on, go away. Go away, bees. Why'd you poison yourself? I didn't poison myself. The bees got me. I Apple like these bees. Stories. I like these <laughs> stories. It worked. What worked? <laughs> Erica goes, stop, stop, stop. I knew she would get annoyed by that. <laughs> I'm the worst person. So, uh, stream, what have you guys been up to? Or not, what, are, what have you been up to? How about this? What are you guys planning on doing this week? Anyone got any cool plans ahead for the week? Me. I've got a lot of crazy plans. Um, some pretty exciting news, actually, everyone, that's coming up this week that, um, I never really talked much about it, I guess, but, um... It's not like I'm moving anywhere. Like I'm literally moving like two blocks away from uh, from it in St. Pete. But um, but I I bought a place and it looks like it may be ready um, in like I mean in like a week or two or three or four something. Like that. I don't really know. It's sometime in February. Uh, we're waiting to close it all up and uh, and yeah. So that's cool. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Posting Water Malone said that he has homework. Okay, well, you know, that's, that's good. At least you're getting your homework done. I'm glad. I'm glad you're, you're staying focused. Um, Volcanic Ash has a basketball game. Well, good luck. Good luck at the game. Uh, Merrick Andrews had a snow day. Oh, my gosh. I left New Jersey this morning, and yesterday specifically. It was like 8 degrees, and apparently it felt like negative 16 is what the Welcome feels like. To Ohio. So yeah, that's what my... Okay, that's your fault, though. Why do you live in Ohio? That's... It is not my fault. Why? Yes. Anywhere in the world and you choose Ohio, I would judge you only more if you lived in Wyoming, probably. Wyoming? Oh, man. Right? That's what I'm saying, dude. Do you even think... <laughs> like, Have you ever met anyone who lives in Wyoming? Do you think... I think it's a government conspiracy. Have you ever been to I Wyoming? I actually have. No. You've never been to Wyoming? Why? Why? Why is this being said like I'm the weird guy? No, I have never <laughs> been to Wyoming, and I probably will never be in Wyoming. <laughs> it was so, we drove through Wyoming, <laughs> and it was literally like Wyoming? it was literally like did you, did next you gas station, three hundred and fifty miles away. You better fill up now. Are you serious? Yeah, no, like is literally like you'll go two hundred plus miles without hitting a <laughs> gas station. And you have no phone signal, so we renamed Wyoming to Wyoming because you just don't have phone signal. Dude, why do people live there? I don't... It was so boring that we were counting the number number of tumbleweeds that we hit along the road. Wait, th you saw actual, like, genuine... Tumbleweeds, yes. They have them. It's not a myth. <laughs> There's no way Wyoming's a real place. <laughs> No one actually lives in Wyoming. Thanks for that five dollars stream tip, Mr. Player. They said, "Sing the My Little Pony song." I don't know about that, but how about Baby Shark? Do 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 do. Baby Shark. How about the Scooby Doo theme song? Baby, that is a good one. Thanks, Jason Platt G for the five dollars stream tip. He said, "Moving into my new house, a new house as well." That's awesome, man. I hope you enjoy the move, Jason. Good luck wherever you're moving. You're moving to like a new town or something. Good luck, and I hope you enjoy it. Uh, and either way, I hope the move goes well. <laughs> I just don't think that Wyoming exists. <laughs> I think it's like... more that it just shouldn't exist. I'm, yeah, I'm not going to say that. Maybe they have wonderful something in Wyoming, but... I'm going to tell you right now they don't have anything in Wyoming <laughs> except the gas station every 200 miles. Oh, come on. I'm sure Wyoming's known for their sparseness. Uh -huh. <laughs> There's got to be one positive thing we could say about Wyoming. For all one, I... for all two viewers that are watching from Wyoming, there's got to be one positive thing we could say. They don't have good enough internet to watch. 
There's got to be at least <laughs> yeah. one person with internet in Wyoming. I've met one person from from Wyoming. Not a fan. <laughs> okay, street. But let, let's think. Let's collaboratively think. What's one positive thing we could say? <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna read some people out in chat. <laughs> If they answer, we need to redeem ourselves. I don't want to. I don't want to anger all all the Wyoming people. <laughs> all one people. All four of their population is gonna be real mad at me. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm so fake. You're gonna get yourself in trouble. I don't even know why I chose to pick on Wyoming today. Okay, there we go. Colton said they have the best national park. There we go. There Wyoming we go. national park. Is, is that, that a thing? Opinion. I mean, is Yellowstone there? If Yellowstone's there, then all right, there we go. We got a positive thing there. No, what, Yellowstone isn't in Wyoming, is it? I don't know. Like, quite a few people are saying. Erica said it's in America. That's true. It's the number one place on Earth. Best country in the world. Number one country global. Don't know if you got the memo, but we are back-to-back -back World War champions. Dare I say undefeated at the Super Bowl. And just... By God, is it not a handsome country? Yeah, a lot of people are saying Yellowstone, dude. Now, that's true. Then there we go. All right. I will give them that. Oh, my gosh. Thank you, Luke Larson, Ash Greninja, Joshua Lee, Logan Hutchins, and the many more people who have subscribed during this stream alone. We got plenty of people coming in joining the Baca army. So thanks for being here, friends. Hope you guys enjoy yeah, not, your stay. They're not wrong. What are they not wrong about? Yellowstone definitely is in Wyoming. Well, there you go. Also, my stomach randomly started hurting a bunch. I think I'm very hungry. I don't think I've eaten really anything today. Why not? Well, that's unfortunate. I mean, I was flying all day, and like I said, I got to the office, and I've literally just been nonstop. Like, it's not you know, been a bad airports day. have it's food, food, right? What? Airports, they have these this thing called food. Yeah, I did. I I, I got so scrambled eggs and potatoes for breakfast. Why did you just remind Wait. me? You got scrambled eggs at an airport? Yeah. Well, that's you're like an egg salad from 7-Eleven kind of person. No, you're an egg salad from a 7-Eleven kind of person. You're gross. <laughs> what did you say the other day that made me even accuse you of that? <laughs> I don't remember. Steve said something absolutely <laughs> gross, and I just accused him of being the guy to get an egg salad at 7-Eleven. We all know those types of people that just have no regard for their health or any – no regard for life, really. I'm I'm sorry. Don't get me wrong. I've eaten stuff from 7-Eleven. They got some really good wings, honestly, from when I used to eat meat. And their pizza their is – Their taquitos are very good. Yeah, and their pizza is edible. But, like, egg salad? Edible. I don't know. I just – I think that Steve – Steve, you're an egg salad from 7-Eleven kind of guy. It's nothing personal. Look, I just said that. You can't come back to me with the same thing but that, that was I just my said to you. No, that was my thing, though. You can't steal my Prove joke. It. Use it again. Steve, He's got gotcha. you. You can't prove it. <laughs> Thanks, Whales R Us, Akko97 for the $10 stranger. Hey, nice to uh, see you around, my friend. It's, I feel like it's been a minute. Uh, he said, hey, Jerry. Sorry I can't stay long. Currently at pharmacy getting medication for a sprain in his arm. Hope you have a good day and many whale loaves to you. Well, many whale loaves to you too, sir. And thank you uh, for stopping by. And I hope that your sprained arm heals soon, friend. Sorry, it's never fun to sprain anything. Oh, also, I just realized I'm covering up the... Uh, I gotta... Okay, I gotta get to a safe place. I think this is probably. Well, that safe. doesn't sound good. Well, I need to move the. Oh, please, please tell me you can't eat me. Can you not eat me? Okay, they can't eat me. Good. No, I just need. I just realized I've been covering up the um the huja bobber the scoreboard the whole time. The huja bobber. How dare you? Well, I just really changed it, so now we're not the covering the huja bobber, dude. Now it's covering the gizmajwajmene, but not what? the huja bobber. You heard me. Yeah, nobody cares about the view. So, out of curiosity, who in chat has AirPods? What? AirPods. You know, like the new iPhone, uh, like earpod thingies that apparently. Headless earphones. He, you yeah. said the word iPod and immediately just now. You don't understand technology. It's fine. Coming from the person who has a Lenovo. 
Yeah, <laughs> Lenovo's are amazing. Number one computer. Lenovo's are the best computer in the world, Blade. I love all my Lenovo. I have multiple Lenovo's. I'm aware. That's a lot of people who have AirPods. See, I didn't have any, and I was tempted to buy a pair at the airport because I was an idiot and left my um, my headphones in New Jersey. Same as the DSLR. I left, yeah, I left both those things. I'm very sad. But uh, I was tempted to get them, and then I just was like, eh, nah, I could survive one plane ride without listening to music. But they See, seem really cool. The problem with them is if you drop your phone, your headphones – aren't going to have like be wired so it's not going to be able to catch it so don't drop your phone or just get a case so when you drop your phone it doesn't break or just don't drop your phone but sometimes accidents happen don't drop your phone telling me you can prevent accidents only you can, I can prevent forest my fires phone i'll down. tell you that right now smoky the bear am i right high five up top do they still teach that in school smoky the bear still know. a guy but you have a son does he ever talk about Smokey the Bear? No. Really? Smokey's out? Smokey's out. Why really? is Smokey the Bear out? I feel like now more than ever we need Smokey the Bear. Uh, he's out. He retired. Erica said you Are used you them sure? on the plane and liked them. No, yes, I, I used yours. Yes, I didn't I didn't say anything against them. I didn't say I didn't oh, like she's them. She's one of them? Yeah, she got the AirPods for Christmas. Oh. I didn't say anything against them. And I did like them. Yes, you're correct. I'm talking about this latest flight, though. Like, the flight I just took down here. I did not have my headphones. But wait, so they really, like, especially nowadays, with all the forest fires that are going on, Smokey's out, really? Blade, we're looking at you. Yeah, Blade. I want to, I, uh, I need what? to know. What? We need answers. We need answers here. And you're the only what? one with a son. Why are they what? teaching him about Smokey? Because they do other things now. But you're a parent. Like you should be appalled at this. What are they teaching what? your kid nowadays? I mean, instead of having Smokey the Bear on a television sit that you sit your kids in front of, they actually have like the fire department come down to the school. They had that when on, we were like, kids, too. Yeah, no. the fire department, yeah, and they handed out rulers, like like ruler sticks, and they had Smokey the Bear's face on it. I used that all the way through high school like a child. I don't blame you. They, I mean, it was cool, dude. Smokey the Bear was cool. There's not a single person on this planet who has any justification for not getting behind Smokey the Bear. Smokey the Bear was a great man. He did many of wonderful things. Erica said I'm she not... didn't see Smokey the Bear in school. No way. What? Really? I'm not saying otherwise. I'm just saying what they do. Well, er Erica's 18, so that means somewhere between the ages. So there was a six year gap then. It was more stop, drop, and roll and how to properly sneeze. See, they how taught to you guys. They oh, okay, you, yeah. That's pretty funny, actually. I like that. But no, see, they taught you guys how to stop it once you were on fire. We learned how to prevent fires. But no, in all honesty, though, that's crazy. Because that there's only, that's, so somewhere between 18 and 24, they stopped teaching. All right, one in chat, if not like you've heard of him. I'm sure all of us at some point in our lives have heard of Smokey the Bear. One in chat, I'm pretty if, sure I've seen a commercial. Maybe. Well, one in chat, if you will say not like heard about it or memed about it or whatever, you were like either taught it in school or advertised it against you. Like 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 Steve said on a commercial, like Smokey the Bear was was thrown at you. One in the chat, two in the chat. If you know, obviously, I mean, maybe you heard of him, but like you were not like taught. Like Smokey the Bear wasn't a thing. Uh, she said, and the fire co came and showed you the jaws of life. Yeah, no, we had all that, but we also had a, a mystical bear who wore a really stylish forestry hat, my, mind you. Um, I never And his had name that. was Smokey. You didn't have that either. I No, we, we all we got was commercials that had Smokey the Bear. Nobody no. came to my school to talk about fire safety or anything. <laughs> well, you were the generation that no one cared about, probably then. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's. I mean, True. I'm not saying you're wrong, but it's a, it's about an even split of ones. And oh, wow, now the twos are coming in. Oh my god, no way! I had rulers with that bear's face on it, and you guys <laughs> didn't learn about this this bear man. What? I feel like this is upsetting you way more. Than it's very be. upsetting me. Smokey the bear was a great role model. This is ridiculous. This is an outrage. No, I agree 100%. This is a complete this outrage. Is this is outrage. not even this is not okay. 
This is upsetting you way more than it should be. No, no, this isn't upsetting you enough, Blade, that your son missed out on a generational icon. <laughs> Why are you laughing as you try to say that? <laughs> yeah. I can't I'm tell so if you're laughing or crying. I'm so, I'm so hungry, man. <laughs> I need some food. My stomach is like eating itself right now. And I don't understand why. Oh my god. Well then. Now, I was a generation that my parents just said, okay, fire is bad. You know why? Here. And then they like put a match under your arm. And now you know fire is bad. Your parents burned you. I didn't mess with fire again, did I? Your parents lit you on fire. But I didn't mess with fire again, did I? Smokey the bear. Is... Much easier than lighting your kid on fire. <laughs> I am so hungry. So how you doing, Jerome? You dead yet? No, I'm doing fine. I'm a bat. Uh, about to become a seagull after I eat one more mouse. You know, just bat things, really. Just one more mouse? Thank you, Anthony Reed and Steven Chechia for subscribing, along with Mung Lun as well. Thanks, Amanda Lee Skelton, for a $5 stream tip. Uh, Amanda said, we even had slash have Smokey the Bear in New Zealand. So look at that. Amanda's from New Zealand, and they have Smokey the Bear. Okay. Look, I'm, I'm going to say this. I love New Zealand. New Zealand people are great, but you watch what you say here. New Zealand's a little bit behind on the times. Actually, they're very far ahead in fire safety. And also, I don't know Forest what kind fire. of propaganda. I don't know what kind of propaganda Erica's town's been telling about my town because she grew up a town over from me. It was like our our well, not like not rival town, but kind of rival town by kind of rival town i mean like they stole our school's colors but that's fine um but no they did the, 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 our town literally had a rift right where the two towns both went to the same high school back in the day and then uh i think i don't know which town made a school first or whatever anyway the point is one town got to choose the team name of the, the sports team first and then the other town got to choose the color of the team so the team the team we got to choose the team name first um and the team beforehand was called the Red Devils. So we said, all right, we'll take the Red Devils. And expecting, you know, her town to be civilized folk and choose a different color team and a different name. So they chose the color red. So we're, our school's colors are green and we're the Red Devils now. Yeah. But anyway, regardless, she said, I'm surprised you guys learned about Smokey the Bear considering all the house fires and things going on. I'm like, I don't know what kind of propaganda they're talking. I don't remember any house fires growing up in my town a town's burning to the ground <laughs> you guys there yeah no i thought it was a very funny story about the uh it, it was so funny drew it was factual i'm laughing on the inside it's a factual story It's actually so funny that I want to be able to save the laughter for later on. You know, That's like, why I'm not laughing now. You didn't have Smokey the Bear, and it shows. I, yeah, it really does. I literally said that was the only thing we had was Smokey the Bear on TV. No, no, no I don't want to hear it. You can't change your mind now. Yeah. Not uh, Erica said anything. she knew three kids that had house fires from my high school. Gee, well, I don't. Wow. And I didn't one, even know. The barn near the devil's tree burned down? My friend lives there. Across the street. Not at the barn, but at the, across the street. That burned down? Okay, I stand corrected then. Okay, here we go. And I want to get off of, like, the fish-eating ones. They're so annoying. Yeah, they are really annoying. Okay, uh, I need, like, three more fish. Are you positive? I have no idea. 
Oh, really? A giant pelican just swooped in and stole my thing and became a turkey. <laughs> Never trust those. Never trust a pelican. Erica said, why do I know more about your town than you? Because you know more about pretty much probably everything than me. <laughs> you gotta realize, Erica, at this point, Jerome will forget his entire conversation by tomorrow. Yes, I... I True. Yes, I forget many a thing. Also, people, some people were asking the second line of the description, what's that about? So I want to tell you guys about something pretty cool going on. Um, well, I think it's cool anyway. I am looking for some solid people who are YouTubers already. So here's the catch. I don't, like, don't don't just send an application in because there's, I mean, we're going to probably get a, a bunch of them. And the second line of the description. But it's not really an application so much as if you are a YouTuber, someone who actually records, you know, who has a backlog of videos, like something I can look at, like, you know, like on their channel, like, you know, like just various things they filmed and you think you'd be a good fit to kind of be in recordings and videos and stuff like that then check out the second line of the description and uh and just leave a note in there i don't know i i'm i'm looking for new people to record with i'm kind of want to branch out and see what kind of cool people we can get um and so I figure, why not just start with my actual fan base? So once again, please don't like send something in there if you have no videos up there. I promise you, if there's nothing to look at, I'm just not. Maybe the the answer is no, obviously, because I need to you know see what we're dealing with here. But yeah, just people who have similar interests and uh, who want to record together. Um, that's pretty much it. Yeah, so go check it out, everyone. It's in the second line of the description. I have no idea what I can I can just hear in the background Ron and Luke that <laughs> just laughing about the same exact thing over and over again. I really want to know what's going on. I don't know that you do. Yeah, I don't think you really want to know. <laughs> I'm gonna message I'm gonna message in chat what I'm hearing in nice and private. Um Uh, at Ron. Oh, I have caps locks all weird. Ron? Yeah. Can I? I just said a nice surprise. What? I guess all I keep hearing through the door. So we just. So Luke heard his neck lifting. And we uh, just watched up a chiropractor it, technique called the Ring Digger. Is this, is this <laughs> oh. And, uh, I just I'm live, by the way. Sure. Oh, okay. Well, We'll have to blur out the R word because uh, we can't be giving views to this man. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So it. So please don't watch it. And, you found uh, an online chiropractor and he taught you the ring dinger though. Oh, he said it again. Yeah, and you know what it is? You wrap a shirt around someone's neck or a towel or whatever, and then you give it a good yank so your spine pops. It sounds really dangerous. But oh my god, that sounds like you can break someone's neck. Easily. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty. It's what pretty a madman. He's done it for 36 plus years. That's down there at the beach with a chiropractor. How, what, what is his malpractice insurance like? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Luke just got a little Ronnie Ringdinger. Ronnie Ringdinger. <laughs> I was wondering, I just kept hearing Ringdinger in the background, and I'm like, what are you guys <laughs> laughing? <laughs> music and it's like, <laughs> what was really funny is we were sitting there, and it took me a while to actually be able to do it. I was just I couldn't catch my breath. It was so funny. Cause you tried this? We did it. You weren't we afraid it. of r breaking his neck? I don't know. It hurts so bad now. It, I can't get my foot still. Do you guys want Domino's, by the way? I'm dying here. I'll order it. Uh, 100%. Yes. Yeah. Are you eating my chocolate peppermint pretzels? Well, you should. My, mo my mom got them for the three of us, so here, try some. They're very good. Mm. Mom didn't get me pretzels. anything. I was going to say, where's mine? Steve, you've gotten a few ring dingers, right? Wait, he's in Texas, no? No, he's in Alabama. Oh. I actually can't hear him anymore. Steve, Blade? I mean, I'm here. Oh. Hold I'm on. just trying to figure out what you're talking about. Mm. There we go. Not you're here. asking if I've ever been to a chiropractor, yeah. yes. And to those watching, everyone, uh, just because it sounds very not safe, uh, don't, no, don't, do don't do it. Uh, don't watch it, and don't, don't do the, the we, ring ding. We here at the Houston Chiropractor do not give consent for anyone to do this outside of the medical field. <laughs> Seriously, that was 
probably really good. So in all seriousness, though, if I ordered up a large pie? No. Oh, my God. You guys are horrible. I'm so hungry. I mean, why don't you eat when you get there? What do you mean, why don't I eat? I, I'm streaming. I can't just go and get a pizza. No, I'm saying if you can order it. Am I wrong? Would you get it for me? Maybe. By the way, everyone, Cookie's in my office now. Yes. <laughs> oh god well that was Ron and Luke everyone I'm so sorry it's so hard to hear you guys these headphones it's not the headphones these auxiliary cords my, my aux cord I think it just got broken in my backpack I mean likely story hello hello I'm gonna get this to work everyone Hello? Hello? One more time? Hello? Hello. One more? Hello? 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 I literally can't hear him. Let me Hello? Just try and... We're going to go one more good one. Hold on. Hello? Hello? That's the one. Got it. Hello? Yep, I can hear you, Steve. Hello? Hello? Steve? Do you want do you want do, uh, do you, think uh, you want the back? ring dinger or not? Hello. I don't think Jerome's coming back. Yeah, me neither. All right, you guys are trash. Do you think we should take over the stream? You know what's horrible stream is I was gonna we offer to get them game. Dominoes, but I guess if they can't hear me, the offer's expired. So, wow, it's quite unfortunate there. I don't yeah. want Jerome to come back now. Yeah, me too. Very unfortunate there. That's how you know they're lying, because they would never say they want me to come back. That is a blatant lie. Thanks, Zachary Briggs, for a $5 stream tip. He said, where's Ben? <laughs> We've been asking that question for years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I couldn't. <laughs> Was he ever even here? Uh... <laughs> Oh god. So about that pizza. I just, I'm, just, I'm gonna stay quiet on this one. <laughs> and Eric, I didn't copy the Domino's. I didn't get it in the end because my friends don't like me. I Domino's. told you I will gladly eat pizza with you. You're not a real person. Well, then. There you have it. I mean, I would have been happy to eat Domino's with you. I'm actually very hungry right now. I know what I'm going to get after this stream. I'm going oh, to the, the Bento Asian place and getting some tofu bowl. You would. Oh, no. I'm going to get ramen. I found a ramen place in here, but it's like an hour away. And it's probably nowhere near as good as the ramen place down here. Ichikoro. I mean, I've only been to two ramen places, so. The Ichikoro in St. Pete, anyway. I've never tried. There's actually, funny enough, there's one in in, uh, in Birmingham, uh, Steve. There's an Ichikoro. Yep. And there's one in Tampa as well. I don't know why they have one in Tampa and one in St. Pete, but... Yeah. So the only problem with the one in Birmingham is it's like... It's in Alabama? No, it's like... It's not an actual location. So it's like a side truck. Like, in a food court type thing. Oh, uh, so it's like uh, ramen light. <laughs> like Ichikoro light. Version. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Think of their lunch menu, and that's pretty much their everyday menu. You're my everyday. I don't know where I'm going with this. Me neither. You guys down for a late night of recording tonight, though? Nope. My pals. The Three Musketeers. That's what the call is. How do you feel about tomorrow night? It's not the same. Well, I'm only saying that because Cat flies away tomorrow. Yes, but look at Erica's warning. That's a good thing, everyone, right there. So please remember not to block Jerry. It's not fun for everyone. That's right. So I understand it's very cool and awesome, obviously, uh, to be on stream. So, but However, if you guys see me in the game, please just do your best to treat me like a normal player, or at the very, very least, um, just, you know, don't like run into me and, and bump into me and, and you know, 
be a nuisance. If you really want to be on the street, what you should do is start a YouTube channel, get some videos out, and apply in the uh, form in the description. Yeah, that's true. You could do that. And then you could be in all the streams you want. Yeah. What he said. So how is Alabama, Steve? Do you like Alabama? I like do Alabama. like Alabama. It's a little cold oh. right now, but I, I do, for the most part, like Alabama. Never thought Alabama would be cold. Yeah, um, yeah. normally it's not, but right now it is fairly cold, so... Isaiah Mitchell's right. What's weird. going on here? We got 1,300 people watching uh, and only 510 likes. Come on, everyone. What's going on, all you Bacchus? Let's go. I never thought I'd hear somebody say that they like Alabama. I mean, it's honestly like Birmingham <laughs> itself is not nearly anything like you guys think it is. Erica wants to know if you have any goats. <laughs> no, I don't have any goats. I live in the city. Well, you say that, but did I ever tell you the story how I almost bought a goat from a flea market? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm, I'm being dead did. serious. I bartered, I bartered the price of the goat down to sixty-five dollars. We were at a flea market. It was me, Mitch, and Ryan. Uh, Mitch was not about it. I told Mitch it would save us on lawn care costs because the goat would just eat the grass in his backyard. Okay, yeah, I can see that. So uh, I, I was about to do you it. See Jerome saying that? No, I'm serious. <laughs> me, it was me, me and Ryan. We decided. It was, it was, it, we were going to buy this goat. So we went to this guy, he called himself, and there's video evidence of this. I think it might be on Ryan's Instagram video from like God knows how long ago. But the guy's name, he, he literally said, and you can't make this up. He said, well, I have 17 goats that live at home. They make great pets. And Ryan goes, 17 goats. And the guy goes, yes, sir. 17 goats. That's why they call me the goat man. And I, I died, dude. I was in tears. I was on the floor in tears. But uh, yes, moral of the story, I did almost buy a goat. We decided not to, though, because as if almost a sign from God, and you can also look this up. We are not making this up either. And evidence, actually, if he remembers, Lachlan was in the car with me when we saw this. So Lachlan, the YouTuber, is my witness. We saw a coyote. And it is very rare, but there are some coyotes in St. Petersburg and, and Pinellas County. That's where it is down here. It's uh, That was the only one I ever saw, ever, actually, in my entire life, let alone even just down here. I've never seen one. But, um, but yes, there was a coyote. And I figured, you know what? Uh, I'd rather not have to try to uh, protect my coyote, or sorry, protect my goat from a coyote attack. So uh, no goats for me. And that's my story of how I almost bought a goat. Right. I got a rabbit you tell a us year again? later. Nope. But I did buy a rabbit a year later, so. Did you? Yeah. Did you have a rabbit? Yeah, it's sitting right behind me, Steve. You know this. When did you get a rabbit? You're a bad person, Steve. Do you not remember when you got him? Cookie? I got yeah. her in June of 2016. Of course I remember that day. I have expected you not to remember. Yeah, June of 2016. I mean, I don't remember when I got my cats. Uh-oh. That's secret. What secret? Erica, type something in chat. Top secret. No. Rome, that's a bad idea. I'm going to buy a hundred of them. Uh, okay. I'm getting a hundred of them. All of them. Uh, what's the best way to get out of being this red bird? I want to get to the thing that are like that basically just kill all the NPCs. Hey, there we go. I'm a vulture, and I get to become an eagle next. Sure about that? Yeah, pretty sure. Positive. Yes. I'll let you know that I'm already a pterodactyl. You're a pterodactyl? No. Okay, I was going to say, I'm the falcon. I feel like I'm going slightly slower than last time. You are. Thanks, Steven. 
No problem. Just a beacon of of nice, aren't you? You should see the smile on my face. Actually, I can just go eat the giant chunks of meat as the falcon that are in the uh, dinosaur land. No, you can't. I might do that in a second here. If, uh, unless, if, if well, actually, if no one else comes for these mice, I can just use these as a pretty easy thing. So let's just do that then. We eat all day mice. But anyway, Steve, would you like to buy some goats from the goat man? <laughs> no. Good try, though. There was a duck that just flew by me named Four Jerry. Do you think he's gonna? Is he gonna? He sacrificed himself to me. Oh my God! I'm an eagle. Thanks, bud. It's a lot of work. He didn't have to do that. The hero, the hero we needed but didn't deserve. I think you just saw how much you're struggling trying to get a mouse. It was felt bad for you. Isaiah yeah, really. Mitchell in chat asked, "Why do you look so good?" Uh, or why are you so good looking? Honestly, I ask myself that every day. Really? No. I already know it's true. It's the big nose. Erica said, I don't want to go to the gym. Just go. start going back to the gym tomorrow like I'm planning. And then tomorrow turns into the next day, into the next day, into the next day, and then you never just get around to it. No, no, I actually am, though. Like I, I don't believe I, you. I like to, when I'm down in Florida, especially. There's... It gives me something to do. And it keeps me eating. Like, when I'm up in New Jersey, my mom just constantly brings pasta in for me to eat. But when I'm down here, I just forget to eat sometimes, like right now. <laughs> it's not that you're forgetting to eat. You're just choosing not to. Yes. Because you're streaming. It's hard that Mama said he forcing you to eat pasta all day. Thanks, Erickson, Layog, Jared Sek, and Rosa Guzman, amongst the many other people who have subscribed during this stream. You could be just like them as well. Hit that subscribe button, and make sure you hit the alert bell as well so you can stay notified every time that we go live. Uh, also, a big reminder, everyone, in the second line of the description, you can go ahead, and if you want, and if you're someone who actually, once again, the requirements are, you're like, I'm looking for... Other YouTubers who are like-minded, make similar content, and just want to hang out and have fun and, and make, you know, videos together. Uh, so if that interests you, in the second line of the description, you can go ahead and check that out. Uh, like I said, the biggest requirement, obviously, is make sure there's content on your channel. Like, I'm not looking for people who are like, oh, I want to do YouTube. No, it's like people who do YouTube. Uh, you know, or maybe you know uh, one of your favorite YouTubers. Like, let's say you watch someone who's like, I don't know, like five, ten thousand, whatever subscribers. You're like, hey, like, I bet you this person would be really cool to record with Jerome. Well, tell them to reach out. Like, uh, I, I'm just looking for new people to record with, big, small, but I'm looking for people that actually post videos. So, yes. Yeah. Basically, just looking for people to collab with. I get to go eat my favorite animal, the penguins. No! Monster. Why would you do that? Erica said, I know a Roblox YouTuber you could record with. Huh. Interesting. Really? She's been holding out? Yeah. I yeah mean, why don't you say something sooner? Yeah, I've never... Who is it? And time to eat the penguin. Is someone else eating all the penguins? There's none here. Me. Are you actually on um, something that eats the penguins? No. No, no, no. Well, I don't know. You could, but we started at the same time. 
No, 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 no. Here he is. It was Tim. I'm... You're trash, Tim. Just stole my penguin. Why? I don't know. Why'd you let that happen? I didn't want it to happen. Yeah, but you let it. It's not a purpose, Steve, okay? Bye, Jerome. Bye. Someone suggested late games. I actually know those guys. They're really nice guys. Oh, really now? Dude, there are so many pterodactyls flying around right now, and it's scaring me. It's I don't like it, because they, they're one of the few things that can eat me. Thanks, uh, Desmond Avant, for a $5 stream tip. He said, I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel, but just don't know how to start. Any tips? Well, first thing would be identifying something that you love that you would like to record. You know, a lot of people make the mistake of trying to do what's popular or this, that, and the other, and it might not be something that they actually enjoy. Um, and the fact is the most important thing is to do something that you enjoy and love. Uh, and that's how you'll grow a fan base, because it'll show in your videos that you're enjoying it and you're having fun. So do that, and then the next big thing is stay consistent with whatever it is, uh, which basically means just, you know, whether or not, like, if you're crazy like me and upload three times a day, then do that. Uh, or if you want to do once a day, if you only upload once a week, whatever consistency means for you, stick to that and, and don't stray too far. And, uh-oh, there's a – there is one of the the bats. No, I'm so dead. I'm stuck in the tunnels with one of the big bat guys. Oh, no, I don't want to die. I don't want to die. Oh, my gosh. You can do it. You might can do it. I might get out of here. No. I know you can. No, yeah, bro. Yeah. I hate this lag. I am so dead. Ah, oh, GG. And, and thank you, everyone, once again, for all the people who have showed up. But, uh, oh, man, I don't know, guys. That's that was rough. That was real rough. We're playing as the vulture now. Ah. Well, thank so you to the fifteen hundred people watching, by the way, everyone. Thank you guys all for being here. You guys are amazing people, and I appreciate it. Man, sent down to the vulture. I don't even think it's that far, to be honest. But just more so a pain. Ugh. What a shame! What a shame! Should have been watching out. All right, and we go with the frogs. And do do do. Head him back over. We'll get back up to where we were, everyone. Don't you worry about it. Blade. Hi. Blade. Hi, Blade. Hi. You want to explain something? Yeah, Blade. Blade. I um I was under the impression that we were all playing Fly or Die, Blade, and not my time at Porsche. What's going I don't on? Know what about. What's going on here, Blade? Yeah, Blade. I have not my a clue what you're talking about. My time at Porsche. I have Steam, you know. I've never heard of this game before. Blade. What what's the game of that? Is it a good game? It actually is a great game, yes. I mean, you know, I might try it out then. Oh, no, 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 no. Go away, Pterodactyl. You know, you of all people, Blade. Uh-huh. Me of all people, uh-huh. Can't believe you. I feel like it's the most believable thing. Oh, I can't get the bread. 
the outline of the bread looked like the color of something like that you can eat, and it just turns out that it, it had nothing to do with that at all. It was literally just the color of the actual bread itself. Wait, Jerome, why why are you looking at uh, Steam? Shouldn't you be playing? I am playing. I have two monitors now, Blade. No, you don't. Yes, I do. I have two monitors down here in Florida. I have three I monitors in that. Jersey, Wait. but only one that's actually on. I just got eaten by a pterodactyl. Oh, I see how it is, Steve. Wait, is Steve playing too? No. Yes. Steve? No. Ye who casts the stone. Why are you yelling at me? I didn't do anything. Blade's saying you did. Blade's saying incorrect. He's sitting there sending me screenshots. No, it's old. <sighs> Currently vulturing it up. Nice. Yeah, I'm, I'm the vampire. Not believable. Yep, don't believe it. So, you were one away from finishing it last time, right? Yes. So, what, what happens if you get one away again and then die? Well, actually, was I one away? I, I think I was one away. I don't. I mean, I don't know for sure. There's so many new ranks and stuff. I don't really know how far away Fair. I was, to be honest. Well, I believe so. I was very far, like like extremely close. Yeah, you were very far along. Quite impressive. We're not referring to my last life. Everyone was referring to like uh, a little over a week ago when I had last played. About a week ago. Dude, the brown bird is so hard to get past. You shouldn't eat Maybe cherries. Maybe you're bad. But you're not even on the game. <laughs> and I'm already doing better than you. You weren't even man enough to try. How do you know I'm not in the game? Maybe I just have this open in the back. Uh, because one... That is not a... Background game. I'm pretty sure you can just hit escape, pause it. No. And cherries, yes. There's a pigeon named Eat Me, Jerry. Thank you for your sacrifice, sir. Well, that's just rude. What do you mean? It was hit, his just, name was Eat Me Jerry, and he landed on me. It doesn't mean you have to do it. I mean, yes, it does. Kind of. It would be one hundred percent. That's exactly what it means. Just, you know, I just thought you know you'd be nicer is all, but live and learn. Uh, I will eat. The cherries. Oh my god. Oh no. Are you alright there, Steve? I dropped my phone. Do you have a case? Steve, we just talked about yes. this. I know, and if I had headphones, it would have saved it. You know, he's not wrong. Or just don't drop your phone. That's Easier asking, said than done sometimes. Yeah, that's asking way too much. Just don't put your phone in a position where you could potentially drop it. Sometimes you need to. No, you don't. Yes, you do. Oh, come back here, pigeon. The pigeon is named Jerry High. And then... Uh, Alright, I'll stay over here. Oh, worm. Yes. No, not the pterodactyl. You go away, pterodactyl man. Pterodactyl man. Yes, I am the falcon now. 
Doing good. What's his ability? You rapidly increase your speed. Oh, that's kind of tight. I can use it every four seconds. So I can just use this to get across the map. Really? Oh, there's the big hunk of meat on the ground. Hello there. 425. Yeah, the, the dinosaur land, I like the dinosaur land because there's not a lot of people here and the big hunks of meat give a lot. And there's also, for later on ones too, like the giant, like, I don't know what kind of fruits they are, but the ones that just hang off the trees. Oh yeah, the hanging tree fruits. Well, I don't know. What I they're think called, they're papayas. Though. Are they? Do you think they're just giant papayas? No. Oh, I mean, I don't know. Maybe. And maybe you're wrong. Oh, there's another falcon here eating the things. Fly on over the T-Rex's head. Sounds like a dangerous task. No, I don't know. I might leave this spot because it's just me and this other falcon fighting over a big hunk of meat. <laughs> Oh my god, how? He he landed on me, and I was on top of the thing, and I think he gave it to him. You know, Drum, this would all be better if you would just get good. I just say, you're not very good at this game. I just stole this thing. Come on. Yes! Got that one, too. Yeah, doesn't feel hey, too good, huh? Yeah. How come you don't uh, do videos with uh, Dropsy anymore? I don't know. She we we did yesterday or two days ago the Pixelmon one. Hey, there we go. I'm finally. Oh my god, no! Well, everyone, I think it's safe to say that's where we're gonna call it quits today. We tried Same. our best there, but it just did not work out. What's up, Blade? I understand that. Oh. But anyway, everybody, thank you all for watching. We hope you guys had fun. If you didn't remember, smash that like button and subscribe as well if you're new. And of course, stick around. we got more coming your way all the time. we got an awesome video going up later tonight as well. So don't stray too far. Apart from that, take care. Peace out. And bye-bye, my friends.